the dome area. The first experiment is going to be easy. <coughs> we need a piece of paper. We need a marker, a cup, and a water. That the light has to additionally pass through glass, water, and glass again. Every time light passes from one medium to another, it is refracted. This phenomenon is called refraction. Next one. We have the bag. We need water and pencils. Try. Yeah. Wow. That's magic. Why did that water did not spill? The bag material is puncture resistant due to its contraction effect. Once pierced, it shrinks around the puncture, preventing leakage. Now next one. We will need two eggs and two cups of water and some soap. Five minutes later. This is all because the density of salt water is higher than normal water. So she pushes the egg to the surface. Now we're going to do a very easy experiment. We need water and a cardboard. Wow! In the glass, the air pressure is lower than in the environment. A mini vacuum is created inside. There is more pressure on the outside, so the cardboard is pressed against the glass and prevents water from leaking out. For the next experiment, we will need this. Baking soda is an alkali, and when combined with vinegar, it breaks down into salt, water, and carbon dioxide, due to which abundant foam is released. For the next experiment, we will need papers, markers, and water. <laughs> Oh, my God.
This is due to the fact that when the paper is immersed in water, it becomes more opaque, causing the bottom layer with a drawing drawn with a marker to become visible. Guys, did you like this day? Yes, it was super fun. Yeah.